There are several different categories for speedrun and cookstar, but today we're going to focus on an any percent run for five traditional recipes because it's quick and it doesn't have to be perfect. Two of my favorite things about a speedrun. <laughs> Now, since this is an any percent speedrun, we basically have to find a balance between perfecting food as quickly as possible and absolutely ruining what we are cooking to save time. Squirting food coloring on cheese? We're a master! Frying a grilled cheese in a pan? Squish it until it explodes. Coating chicken with breading? Flawless. Putting it in the air fryer? Make it explode. Because Cookstar was supposed to be based off those Instagram posts of food that we always see, Mama determines our worth based on how many likes our photo gets on social media. Oh, what's that? Only five likes? Guess I get to sleep on the floor tonight. I want to take a moment to point out that this mochi... Mochi? I think it was mochi. Uh... I'm not looking up how to pronounce it. I want to take a moment to point out that this mochi minigame ruined several promising attempts that I had before this because I would end up just smacking the hand and then I'd get so frustrated that I just kept smacking the hand and then it was awkward for everyone involved. The mochi is the only recipe that we can complete perfectly and it won't impact our time. But I still messed it up because I enjoy chaos. Also, I have a really bad habit of forgetting to reset my timer, so it's going to be red for the rest of this run. You're welcome. Now, I remember when this game first came out, I saw a copy of it sitting at my local Target and I almost impulsively bought it, but then I stopped myself because I'm trying to be more responsible with money. Only to go back and try and buy it on the eShop the next morning. But imagine my surprise and slight sadness when I discovered that the game wasn't on there. I checked several of my local stores and nothing. Even the original copy that I saw was gone. See, this is why I impulsively buy things. After I did a little bit of research, I found out that this game was originally rumored to use your Switch to mine Bitcoin, and that's why it was removed from the shop. But it came out later that the real reason it was removed was because there was a legal battle between the publisher, Planet Entertainment, and the IP holder of Cooking Mama, Office Create. You see, when the Office Create team from Japan checked in on the production of Cookstar, they basically said that they felt like the game sucked, and they either wanted to make significant changes to it or just cancel the game release altogether. And Planet Create responded to this by just releasing the game before it could be completely polished, causing it to crash and overheat your system. So, Office Create began a lawsuit, and it was bye-bye Cookstar on the eShop. The thing that I find most amusing about speedrunning this game is that even when I was on world record pace during my practice runs, there would still be some points where I could barely finish the objective before time was up even though I was going as fast as I possibly could. Mama don't wait for no one. I'm just imagining how upset Gordon Ramsay would be if I made a tortilla and went to bake it and I just put it in the oven, closed the door, immediately opened it back up and handed it to him and was like, yes chef, this is all cooked chef. I would definitely be labeled an idiot sandwich. Now I'll be honest, I am really intimidated by the lettuce in this game. Every run attempt that I've had up to this point, either nothing happens when I move the Joy-Con to peel off the leaves, or I end up just smacking the whole thing off the counter in the opposite direction of the way I pushed the Joy-Con. This is literally the devil's lettuce, you can't convince me otherwise. Glad to see Cooking Mama still has some extremely frustrating controls. But apparently this time the lettuce has decided that it likes me. Oh nice, we have a bowl of onions. This is for making me look like an idiot earlier. I hope you liked being smacked around. Now what's a gyro experience if you aren't catching all of your toppings as they fall from the sky? I love my food with a little bit of skydiving experience. Okay, we're on the last recipe and this time is looking pretty promising for a world record, so I feel good. I'm sorry, little shrimp. This makes me uncomfortable. Oh, and looky there, we just forgot how to cut. Perfect. Okay, that was some fruit ninja cutting skills on those potatoes. I love how everything not only burns, but it just full on explodes if you cook it for too long. That's the level of drama that I need in my life. 
Now to plate the somehow perfectly cooked rice and unburnt soup. Thanks, Mama. And we call time at 1650, which is a new world record for this category and actually marks my second world record ever. I guess you can say I'm a pro now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some important culinary tasks to attend to. Alright, that's it for this video, but before I go, I want to give a shout out to Laura K. Buzz. I came across a video of hers on YouTube explaining how to speedrun this game, and it definitely taught me everything I needed to know to complete this run. And I recommend that you check it out if you're planning on speedrunning this game as well. I'll link her video in the description below. She also held the world record for this category before this run, so hopefully she will enjoy this bit of added competition. And as always, I'll link my non-commentated speedrun submission down there as well. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!